Hello and welcome to my craft room with Rhoda. Today we're going to do a little experiment. I haven't worked with envelopes that often. Uh, just a junk mail one now and then. I may have done a window, dangle, whatever. So I've got these envelopes and they are, what are they? <laughs> Nine and a half by four and a, an eighth, I guess. But they came in an old pack of uh, stationary business stuff that I had one time. And I got it on clearance. Anyhow, so we're taking our Theodosia Square, the old and the new. <laughs> and I'm going to go through and I'm going to find papers that I want to cover the, the sides of this. What we're going to do is create, I want to call it a Greek key. Because when you see it from up above... It's going to resemble one of those Greek keys. You know, it's it's like a square and it keeps going like in a spiral design. Uh, I did used to have a punch, but I don't even have that to show you. But anyhow, um, I thought there'd be something different. I mean, what I'm going to have to do uh, to make it work is I'll start out small. I won't want to get any gussets, but then after a while, I'm going to have to start building gussets. So it's not going to be so wide it gapes, you know. It's going to actually form into itself, so it'll be really nice. All right. I want to thank everybody for coming to visit and uh, seeing how I'm doing and what I'm doing and <laughs> how I'm doing, going to do it. <laughs> so here is the envelopes. And I know Mrs. E at Scrapbooking with E, she's done some things like this before, but I'm not sure how big she ever got hers to be. I mean, because what it's going to end up being, we're going to glue here and glue this down. I think she usually uses um, glue stick, but I, I want it to stick. <laughs> I want it to stay. So I'm going to just scribble me on here some of my Barely Arts glue. And I'm going to go all the way down almost to the crease. I mean, the great thing with this is you already got the crease and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to match it up and put it down and try to get it as even as possible. And you don't have to decorate it until, you know, you're about done with it. But you do want to fold it. Make sure where it's folded is going to work. And then burnish it down and make sure it stays. There we go. And... Even though, I mean, some of them may need some extra gluing. Like, here's a little bit of a loose spot. But it may not be that we need to work worry a bit about it because we're going to put a piece of paper over top of it. And that might take care of the issue. So I wouldn't worry about that part at the moment either. Just in case you've got one of those raggedy envelopes that wants to fall apart. Now, if you need to use... Um, junk mail envelopes that's fine i didn't want to use mine because i didn't want to deal with the windows i mean i know miss e did something with windows and but she variegated the sizes of her envelopes where she had a really large one at the back and all these great little flips and everything uh and uh it's beautiful but i want to make almost like a journal i guess you would call it a journal and it's not exactly going to be a, um, what would you call that? Uh, what? There's there's accordion journal, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It's not going to exactly be an accordion journal. It's going to be a little different than that. Um, but we're just going to continue gluing down. We're going to make sure when we go in, the fold is it's good. It works. <laughs> and we're going to push it down even better to make sure that glue gets squished in. I'm not about to lick these envelopes. I'm sure that does not taste very good at all. <laughs> so that is not going to happen. <laughs> but we also want to make sure as, as we fold it, we're not going to be, you know, we, we got to start thinking about our gusset area. And I can use this um, flap for a gusset in some cases, but I'm going to get to the point where that that's going to run out right there. And I think I know I can get at least one more on here, so let's do that. 
And then I might have to think about putting a little score in my envelope flap. I've not done this before. This is the first time, so this is an experiment. You're in Rhoda's mad laboratory. <laughs> We're going to figure out how to do this. I love a challenge. I love a puzzle. I don't love glue everywhere. Um, so, we are going to see what we can see. Okay, I got to remember not, not to go all the way up to the crease. I went way up, <laughs> way up in there. Okay, about right there. You got to start going out just a little bit more each time you put a new envelope down. I was trying to do the little short, wide envelopes. I didn't have enough of those. <laughs> Not at all. Ooh, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. I am going to have the point where I need to do a, a score in here. So let me go over and do that real quick. Well, I thought maybe you might want to see this part. So I'm going to bring my scoreboard over. And I've made this dark line. So, uh... I know one end from the other, if I want to match something up, it work. So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to look where the crease is at and line that up with one score line. And then we're going to score right here on the parallel score line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to see. We're going to see. Okay, now we're going to get back in here and do some more gluing. We're only gluing up to the score line. I might have should have bent it before I glued, but you know me, I'm jumping right on ahead. So we're going to go in here like this. I don't have any clue if this has been done before. I, I'm just not one of those that gets on Pinterest or anything like that. I just... Think of something and go with it. I'll sometimes see somebody else's work that inspires me. I'll sometimes have something I've seen on uh, Instagram that triggers an idea. Don't I don't even remember what triggered this one, to tell you the truth. I have no clue. I'm trying to keep this before it dries. Move it just a little. Oh, I don't think it was going to happen. <laughs> Try to make them all as evenly, you know, top and bottom as possible. All right, let's see if we can bend that on that score line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just get in here and bend it, bend it, bend it. And remember to do it the next time, Rhoda. Remember, before I get to gluing. There we go. That works. Now let's wrap her up and see how she does. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Wrap, wrap. Wrap and wrap. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Now, if you wanted to get adventurous on the first few, you could have made it where <laughs> you, you could have had a little tuck here, but... I'm not worrying about it. I'll put a tuck on there if I need to. Now here, we got to get in here and do us another score line. Okay, that's my push down one, and this is my scoring one. Okay, I'm going in the opposite direction this time. I'm putting this on the, the black line for myself, and we might just go to the next one up. Let's try that. I didn't know whether to go, like, two in the same score path or or how to do that and yes i just remembered i'm supposed to be bending this before i get in here to glue it and let's see maybe i can experiment here first before oh, all right do anything else let's see what i got well i don't know that's a little more than i needed it to be so you do have to play with this. You just don't know exactly where you want that to be. So I'm going to move that out to like halfway between one score and the next. And I'm going to 
Ugh. Maybe I'm going to pull it in a little bit more. I don't know. We're just going to play with it. There. I'm going to do it right there. Yeah. And you can, you can see I came in just a little bit more than that one I just done. Because I don't want it to be that much of a gap in there. Unless, now, unless you plan on putting a nice size pocket in there. Now, that might be the case. So, maybe our next one we will go out to two scores away. It's just on what you have pre-planned for your little booklet. Oop, oop. Trying to figure out where that score is. Where'd you go? <laughs> it's there, I guess. I just can't see it. We're going to go ahead and press her down and let her go where she will. There. There. Now, I get in here with my glue and glue up to that score line. Yeah. Has everybody been crafting lately? Or has everybody been out doing their spring planting? My mother is antsy to get out and do stuff. She has a bad knee now, so I don't know. That's probably going to slow her down. But she is bound and determined to get out there and start working in her flower garden. She loves those things. She has a bad... Uh, knee where it's like the the bone rubs the bone I'm not sure if anybody else has got that issue but she tried several things so far and it's not quite worked for her yet she had <laughs> some kind of concoction they put in her that was coxcomb <laughs> I think it's the way they described it and um so it didn't work. It was supposed to be a lubricant that would go between and keep the two bones in your knees from rubbing. Mm, it didn't work for poor things. So <clears throat> she's going to have to go back in there again. Or she got, she went back in and had this nerve blocky thing done. I'm not quite sure if that worked. I think they did have her where she's going to go back in and, um, and have that procedure for the next step of that I think what she had was something else and then she's got to go back in for the the one that will sear the nerves I guess it is I don't want to talk about <laughs> I don't want to talk about that but anyway <laughs> I get on get on the wrong subject <laughs> okay so I think this is going to be the last one I'm going to be able to do, I don't want this gappy thing here. So I'm going to probably start making a gusset and putting it in here with scrap pieces of paper, which, you know, I've got. I've got them. I need to do me a big old batch of tea dye again. I've been using it up in these different journals I, I was making for the shop, and I need to do some some blank journals i want to be able to have you know affordable journals where people can get things that i take down there and um they will be stuff they can build their own journal and that's basically what i'm going to call it a build a journal <laughs> oh the things i come up with i'm sure that's been <laughs> i'm sure that's been came up with before but <laughs> Oh, anyhow, see, I've got a little bit of an area there. It's, you're probably going to want to go back in here with different pieces of paper and like go over areas. Like, I wouldn't want that to stay white here. So I probably will go over it with a small piece of paper for an in-between. Or it could be where I'm going to line this pocket just a tad, just under the lip here. And whatever piece I use, I can overlap it just a bit here. And that will take care of all of that. That little gappy part. I guess you can see what I'm talking about. That little wedge cut in there. 
and it'll take care of strengthening your your hinges and all that kind of thing so I'm going to keep going and then I will come back and you can see where I'm going with this I'm trying to bend it and keep it as square as possible see this is not going to be square right yet because it's got to have a hinge in it and it's going to be just about like that I've got to put another hinge so it builds out far enough all right well I will be back in a minute and show you my progress all right I have an update I forget how many I've gotten in here <laughs> let me keep rolling I have one two three four five six seven eight so what I've noticed now is at this point I may want to forget this this crease is here and expand that out so you know what I mean <laughs> we're going to forget that crease even exists this is going to be our new crease because it's it's needing to oops I didn't crease that one quite straight it's needing to um actually go out a little further because it's starting to bend so I need to go maybe like that right like that and we're going to not even pay attention to that one crease we're going to crease this one and that one then we're going to see what what transpires here so this is going to be our new fold to start off our hinge with forget hmm there we go <clears throat> and then we're going to have this one as the other part of the gusset I guess maybe I should be calling this a gusset I'm not sure I got a really quick <laughs> we're gonna try it this is just an experiment it's envelopes I mean you know they're not very expensive especially if you're using junk mail ones I mean you could experiment and see how this works for you with some junk mail ones and see how <clears throat> it might need to be done and hey it might turn out so great you just go ahead and decorate that one all right let me get my envelope down here and hold this down and we're at the point like I said where the the pieces of that wedge are starting to affect this so we got to work our way around it I, mean, I think the being up on top of this thingy here is affecting me all right Get straight there. Get straight. What do you tell your kid? Straighten up. <laughs> Straighten up. I tell my cats that every so often. <laughs> Stop fighting. Straighten up. All right. Let's see how that worked. See how our Greek key is working now. Oh, yeah. And once I get a piece of paper in there, especially coming out of this mouth, that's a nice sturdy one I can re um, rework that crease uh, to get rid of the old one to untrain it in other words and train it to go for, for the new crease okay so I think you've seen enough of that I'm going to start picking a few papers and putting some in there and showing you what I mean about going over the lip and everything so let me find some goodies. All right, the first thing I want to do is cover the back side. This is the outside, I guess you would say, of the envelope. You know, where those little creasy things or the wedges are shaped. Now, this is some trim that I got off of some papers that I was working uh, the, yesterday when I was putting them in one of my journals. So it's just some excess paper I have. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put my glue on it and I'm going to put it on this outside. Now you may have to re-train uh, your 
your crease uh, once you get this on there and get it to remember where the crease was because this is that one we redid <laughs> we redid it and you're going to be covering this with some beautiful cardstock or you know digital or something so you don't have to worry about the edges of this thing it's just there for that uh, part that's going to be folded around all right we got that on there that took care of that wedge didn't it yes it did have to do a little trimming that's all don't want to trim too much um because our paper could come in here and take care of some of that leeway but you don't want those corners okay there we go now see you don't even see it now see how it fixed it top and bottom and then we need to find us a piece to go in here that's going to tuck inside and take care of that. Okay, I found me a great piece of scrap. This was something I tried to print out from a digital. And two of the ink <laughs> pieces were running out, the ink tanks. So it's going to work perfectly. It has to be deep enough to go in there to hide that little bit. Because we won't, don't want to see ugly white when we open our pocket. Plus, it's got to overlap enough of this one for that uh, cover paper for here to go and work. And probably these are going to be, you know, shabby, cheeky kind of colors that I'm dealing with. So, I'm going to just go ahead and cut it down right there. doesn't have to be neat. It's going in this pocket. I got a little piece for something else. Going back for tag, maybe. Now my next step, I gotta cut this down to fit in my pocket. And I think that's right here. Don't hesitate to go a little smaller if you have to. It's it's horrible to try to fight something in there. And it's got lines on it, so that helped me out. Okay, let's tuck it in and see how she works. Now I'm sure this is gonna be a two-parter. <laughs> two porter because I'm going to probably stop it here it's it's about 22 minutes I'll probably stop it I'll finish assembling this thing and you saw how I was doing I was just adding an extra gusset adding an extra gusset now when you got out to that one end here we had to add a whole new crease line so that's where you had to start from there Maybe I'll do one more after I get this in here to show you. Just so you kind of got an idea where I was going. Okay, I see some people's glue squirt out like crazy, and mine doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if I just haven't put the, the pin in it lately to reinvigorate it or, or what's going on. I'll probably start using my uh, glue stick especially with these they usually hold down pretty well all right let me get my finger in there there we go and then that piece and then we're going down enough that we're just going to be over just a tad on this other envelope just like that now, if you wanted to get in here and ink beforehand, like these areas here, or you can ink them afterward. I mean, probably better beforehand. <laughs> like, like you know me, I'm jumping right on in there. And then some people don't like to ink at all, so it's, it's to each their own. All right, let me get this one more done, and then I'm going to show you how to what I'm going to put on one of these. It's a pretty lady. And she's been so tall. I mean, it's it's sort of like a tall skinny journal here, but she has been so tall that I've not been able to put her in a journal because I'm either going to cut her feet off or her legs, her head. <laughs> Something was going to get taken care of, you know. <laughs> so here we go. We are going to extend out a little further another score line there. And we are going to make this our new score line. <laughs> and yet again, I'm a little crooked. 
Oh. All right, I'll go back over that. There we go. Then I'm going to go out two score lines from that one. And go on down the line. Okay. There. Like that. You see how I bypassed the one that was already in the envelope. And I went out one score line. And then two from there. And those are my two new ones. So I'm going to... Oops, be folding it. <laughs> Hopefully where you can see it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Get it started on either end, it's usually easier. Oops. This is the fiddly part when you get to this point, but it sure is fun up to there. <laughs> All right, here's where I need to fold it again. And this is the crease that I'm going to butt my next envelope up to. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm going to actually have to start relying on another strip of paper or something. Because I'm running out of curve there, as you can see. Well, I, I sure appreciate everybody coming to visit and spend time and watch and see what I had an idea for this time and what do I do with the rest of those envelopes? I'll stack them up here. So, our next one is matching up with our outer score line we just created. Right there. And then we're just going to rub her down, get it on there good, we can go over our back like we did with this other one, and I didn't reach, oops, I didn't retrain this one, so let's see how she bends for me. I have to get in there and add some extra glue and fix that again. But where was that score line? I guess it might be better for you to put <laughs> put some of this on there before you get to where you're going. Did I even make sense right there? I don't think I did. But it's almost easier to look at it here. And tell yourself where you want to bend it. If I can keep it where you can see me. Yeah. See, I told it I want it to bend right there. So now I'm going to follow that with my score tool. Yeah. Now I'm going to rescore. Well, it looks like I went right back in where I was before. Oh, well, what can I say? What can I say? Experimentation. You may have gone to, to pot. All right. I know that's the edge of that envelope, so I'm going with that. Then I'm coming in to... We're going to do it that way. If it wants to fight me, it can't. And I know where the edge of that envelope was is where I had planned for the crease to be. Okay. Oh, yep. There she goes. There she goes. And then you just rub it down. Then we pop up here to our next one and get that started. I'm going to have to re glue my little strip here, but that ain't going to hurt nothing. All I got to do is slip up underneath of it. Okay, like right here. Okay. Yep. Now, what does she look like? Where's the end? There. My Greek key. I gotta wind my key up. There we go. It's still going good. It's a little off, but I don't think... <laughs> I don't think you can do much better than 
trying to it's it's and it's no way I can tell you and see here the way the next piece is going to be it's the the crease is way back you're going to have to go out here even farther for the next one so that's why I'm saying you're running out of real estate <laughs> so you're going to have to start adding a piece depending on how many of these you want to go out with I mean you, you might be fine with this this amount but the lady I wanted to show you and this is the old Theodosia pack now you got these pretty ladies in all their attire but the one I was thinking of she is where is she she's up here there this one I love this lady but she is so tall that she would not fit on a page. She is, she's all of <laughs> nine inches tall. So it's like, you could put her on the cover of a book, on the inside cover, the outside cover. Um, but I think she'll go great on one of these pages here. And it's just wide enough. I might lose the Prince of Wales. But the further out I go, I might be making her my cover. Because the further out I go, the bigger the outside is going to be. And so anyhow, that is what our plans are. So I hope you try this and give it a shot and just experiment. You're not hurting anything. You got scraps. You got, you know, junk mail if you don't, you know, want to use good envelopes. But... I really appreciate everybody coming to see me. I hope you have a great day and come back and see me again.